Yeah, so we have we have five different um, levels of work that we think are involved in in future work, um, uh, of which uh, a really successful organisation has to be good at at least the, bot the four of them, and might have occasional visits to the fifth. So, so the bottom one, um, which is sort of the roots of the organization, is the stuff that, that you guys talk about, well-being. I mean, it, it, if you don't actually create well-being, as a, you don't understand the role of well-being within your, your organization, it rots at the roots because nobody has the cognitive capacity to do the work and, and they're suffering from fade out and burnout and all of these kind of things. Um, the, the level above that, we're really looking at impression management. So that's what we're going to be talking about then and, and the behaviors around impression management, which can suck you into poor well-being. Above that, we're looking at what are the behaviors of uh, the most productive behaviors in organizations. How do you structure organizations to, to create productive advantages? Above that, still, we're going into performance and we separate performance from productivity quite distinctly, whereas productivity is just time and error rate. And, and, and performance is these interpersonal relationships where, where people come together collectively and, and, and solve problems in, in a, again, a dialogical kind of manner. And then right at the top, we, we sort of have inspiration and originality, which is where all of this comes together. And you've got moments where you can take the organization into places that you weren't ever expecting it could be taken because you're opening up possibilities to, to do work that you didn't imagine existed previously. So we go right from, from the, the roots of well-being to the top branches of, of, of future possibility and, and, and try and intervene and, and help organizations at every level in between. So, so Richard, it sounds like what you're actually saying is that psychological health and safety really forms the foundation of any organisation that would like to ultimately innovate. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> I guess you said that before. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the roots of everything is, is for me is well-being. You put well-being uh, instead of looking at, the, uh, at sort of the economics of everything and, and, and putting economics at the centre. You put well-being at the centre, and if you create well-being, then out of it comes the kind of work that contemporary organisations need to have done. Um, it's oblique. It's not necessarily easily measurable or seeable the way that economics are, but it will create something way better than that that hard target-based economic share or the value perspective does. <laughs>